Lift your hands. Lift your hands and let's welcome the Holy Spirit in this place. Welcome the Holy Spirit. Welcome the Holy Spirit. Oh, welcome the Holy Spirit. And this is your house. Spirit, come and dwell. This is your house. Lift your hands to the Lord. A holy house of prayer. Where the lost and the lonely bring their burdens and their prayers. This is your house. This is your house. Come and dwell. Lift your hands and tell him, Holy Spirit, overflow this place. Paint our walls with grace and mercy. And redemptions for the searching soul. Lord, have your way. We humbly pray. This is your house. Spirit, come and dwell. This is your house. A holy house of prayer Where the lost and the lonely Bring their burdens and their prayers This is your house This is your house Come again Somebody clap your hands to Jesus And welcome the Holy Spirit in this place Hallelujah, hallelujah. You may be seated. Good morning, everyone. We had a wonderful youth service. It went beyond our normal times. And uh, it's always important to worship God. What you have recovered, the times, the hours you've been worshiping God, what you have received from the presence of God, I tell you, it is beyond words. Yeah, it will take you two years to finish the blessings you've just received in worshiping God. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. God is a good God. Amen and amen and amen. Are you blessed of the Lord? Well, our new book on, on the Holy Spirit is out. And how many of you already received a copy? How many of you have not yet received a copy? Well, let me tell you something. The books are in the house already. I'll make sure... Yesterday, the press could not release as many as, as we could. But today, they have released as many. We are, we are giving away over 40,000 copies of this new book. So, you're going to get your own copy. I said, you're going to get your own copy. Okay, I'll give it to oh, No, you're going to get your own copy. And please read it and then pass it on and give it to somebody. These books are not for sale. It's even written inside there. We are not selling it. We want to thank those of you who are giving to publish the Holy Spirit. Um, let's go ahead and give our evening offering. Then I'll tell you more about the book and what we are doing and why it's very important um, to this generation to know more about the Holy Spirit. So if you are yeah, if you are here, just uh, there's a basket behind you, a basket is in front of you. Just get a hold of it and tomorrow we're gonna have uh, not tomorrow. 
<laughs> and a few hours from now, we'll have uh, two services. One at 8.30, 10.30, and then we will have one in the evening. Um, Gao Power uh, leaders, hospitality, and pastors, we have our meetings, please. I know you are coming in different times of service. That's what I'm making. Uh, an internal memo, I'm announcing it on, on radio, or I mean live on TV, uh, in preparation of the mass weddings on Thursday. Uh, we have a wonderful, wonderful weddings that are going to be conducted. The Department of uh, Registration Department Services in Uganda gave us a commendation as the leading church in registering people's marriages. It's very important that where you are married, they register your, 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 your marriage. Yeah. And uh, we believe marriage is, is for lifetime. Um, but just in case, uh, you need a fallback plan. On, that's why the government registers your marriage to recognize it, to make it legal. Yes, it's official, but it must become legal. It is holy and official when you do it in church, but it must be legal. It's very, very important. Next week, uh, starting tomorrow, today, on Sunday, we start the last leg of 77 Dog 3. I see a gold prize. I see a gold medal waiting for you. Uh, yeah, I, I, I see. I see victory waiting for you. I see anointing waiting for you. Uh, you know, you are reaching the finish line. Uh, those will be many, many days you've been awake in the presence of God. You are a history maker, graced by the Lord Jesus Christ. Then we are going to have... Um, um, it will be a great weekend, Friday. Thursday is wedding. We start at 8. And uh, it, is, it is amazing. Uh, our volunteers, those who came. Uh, some, some, some lady, a, a lady left her salon and just come brought her everything here. Uh, at campus to, to deal with the people. It was, our, our budget is about... Uh, way up there in 450 million for this wedding. Uh, but I told the people yesterday we're not raising any money. The Holy Spirit is going to meet that need. You know what? As long as we lift him, he will draw the money, the people, to himself. And so that's what we are doing. And uh, we. working on righteousness is very, very important. Because righteousness exalts the nation. You remember when our Lord Jesus Christ went to be baptized by John the Baptist? You, you definitely realize what he said. He said, John said, no, I cannot, you baptize me. I can't baptize you. But Jesus said, we must fulfill all the, we must fulfill the law for all, all righteousness. Yeah, he said, we must deal with the righteousness. So righteousness is, is very important. According to God, if you find a woman and you're a man, and you, you decide to go sleep together and live together, to the people, traditionally, you're a great man. To God, you're a sinner. Do you know how many people are living together outside holy matrimony? So if, if righteousness exalts a nation, I hope we need to go beyond that. Um, let me ask a question. Just a simple, simple question. Now we're going to give those books after the service, please, not now. Did you hear what I just said? Not now. So, the um, let's take it this way. Let's take it this way. How many of you 
you are living together, you have never had a holy matrimony. Put up your hand. What is that for? What was that for? What did you do that? You know that devil is very clever. I want to distract you from what you were saying. How many of you are living together not in holy matrimony? Stand up. Because you're going to teach us something. You're going to teach society something. Yeah, stand up. Stand up. Stand up. And please, I'm going to ask you, I'm not embarrassing you, but I'm going to ask you to come and, and join me here. So that these holy people who are seated down there will see. Oh, stand on this tape so that they can see you properly. Here, stand, stand, stand on the plan. Will the camera be able to see through them? Yeah. Just leave me a window where I will be able to speak. Amen. And face the other way. Let's look at those holy ones. Let's see. Amen. Good. So I, I, you with the camera, you go from the end and you pan all the way to the end, okay? You, you start from there, you pan all the way to that end. I know more people, I leave them there. This is, what are they doing? Goli single. Obana woli na goli na yinga tonagati. Oh, you are cohabiting with somebody as well. Okay. So, when I was to know the all of you, look screen. I need, I need, I need the big screen. Please put on the big screen. Put it on. Um, what you are looking at? Pan from this end to that end. Okay. Wow. The scripture said righteousness exalts a nation. But sin is a reproach to everybody. everybody. Living together without holy matrimony is sin. Okay, you, I'm asking you people over there. You're the most holy one. You there. You remained. You don't want to, to be used of God. Now, when it came to get the children of Israel out of Egypt, Moses said to all Hebrews, get a lamb, each house, each house, and slaughter it and put the blood on the lintels and the doorposts. And everybody did, and whoever did it was safe. If the Lord Jesus Christ is saying he must be baptized so that righteousness will be done. So if this was Exodus, we are coming out of Egypt. 
Do you think this will come out? If it is not the grace of God. And if this is part of our family, we are believers. And God says, you must fulfill all righteousness. They can hinder you and me from reaching our destiny. If righteousness exalts a nation, if we must fulfill all righteousness, that means, that's where the scripture comes in, which says, help one another. Okay, because others are weak in one area, others are strong in an area, so you support each other. Okay? Because they're part of us, they're brothers and sisters. So we help one another to fulfill all righteousness. That's why, as a nation, as a people, as the body of Christ, we have no choice but to help them perform their righteousness. Thank you for your love's enthusiasm. You'll ask yourself, who helped me? But remember, even your introduction, you who is seated there, even your wedding, somebody contributed. No one can do a wedding by himself. And one of the things we look at people and think they're going to do it by themselves. They're not going to do it by themselves. And if we support them and we help them and they cross that bridge, then Jehovah will deliver the entire nation of Uganda. Me, I seriously believe if we believers put our act together and we stand in our position of righteousness, I'm telling you, this nation will be saved in one day. In Obadiah chapter 1 verse 17, it says, Upon Mount Zion, not upon the world. Zion is the church. He said, Upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance and holiness. And then God's people will possess their possessions. In other words, one of these little, 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 the little, little foxes destroy the vine. Destroy the salvation. Vine is where we grow grapes. Grape, grape vine. And then grape vine gives us the vine. We have grapes. And the grapes gives us a wine. So it's a process. At the earliest stage, the little foxes, things we have we've ignored, eh? the little things, that's where the devil is in detail. And, and that's where, if we help one another to cross the bridge, and, 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 and sanctify our marriages, then the glory of the Lord will shine in every home. Hallelujah. Amen. I said hallelujah. hallelujah. And then, when we pray, he will hear. He said, we must possess our possessions. And the truth of the matter is this, church, we cannot win any other way. Unfortunately, the other people of the world can, they have a million ways of the devil of succeeding. A million ways of succeeding. You, my brother and sister, you have only one way, and that way is Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ demands righteousness. He performed all righteousness. Get the scripture. When he told John the Baptist, we must perform all righteousness. If we have one way, and the, the, the leader of that, way, that one way, the, the master of that one way, in fact, he is the way, he says, perform all righteousness, then we have no choice, pastors, is to wed every believer in our church who is living in a in, 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 in unsanctified marriage. We have no choice. Because we will, we will be defeated in our one way we have. Okay, thank you for your love's enthusiasm. Because... You remain behind.
Namu mwenye ni betuwa gerida, mukume mungalo, tamu tamu ni mukomera. Clap your hands, you're not incarcerated. O kujako nga goli na hito mwagala. Unless when you don't love your partner, current partner. Gamba kuina ni gundi wancha, right to kuba mungalo. Tell your your partner, did you check me? Abamu kume mala bika mungala funa yobala. Regardless. Sin songa. That's another day, another story. The truth of the matter. Do you want to be righteous? Do you want to live in righteousness? You people standing in front. You're answering slowly. Or oh, you're fed up of your partner. Oh, the woman yesterday wanted to pour a pay. Oh, the woman yesterday wanted to pour a pay. Oh, the woman yesterday wanted to pour a you may want to pour Dyson in And Jesus mouth. answering said unto him, yes, Matthew 3, 13, Suffer it be so. Now for thus it becometh us to fulfill all righteousness. To fulfill all righteousness. God did a mass deliverance. There is individual deliverance that he did on Moses. When Moses got a revelation of who he was, he killed an Egyptian prince. He fled. God delivered him, anointed him, worked with him. Then he sent him back to come and do a mass deliverance. Two million plus people were delivered in one day. May the Lord deliver every Molokole Achali. Every believer, may God deliver every believer who has not sanctified their marriage. Because the Lord will follow. Told John the Baptist, we need to fulfill all righteousness. Not, not just part of it, but all. Amen. 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 Luachi. Why? Kubango butuki rivu. Righteousness. We busitule nsi. Exalts a nation. Dine guangali ya Uganda kusituka. For the nation of Uganda to be exalted. E guangali ya balokole. For the nation of the believers. Yuki dante fetuli ne guangeli ya fe. Remember we have our nation. We are a royal priesthood. We are a holy nation. E guangeli tukuku. Kati the holy nation. E guangeli tukuku. Mo Uganda kusituka. In Uganda to be exalted. Dili noku tukirizovu tukirivu buona. We have to fulfill all righteousness. Okay, mugira musiga de wansi. Stay seated. You eat your chicken. Baba pangi sama yumba. Let you be. Just move about. But we who are determined to go and possess our Canaan land, we are going to do all. We are going to fulfill all righteousness. Covid Jesus Christ, O Mungale Zamani, Bona. Your hands to Jesus. All righteousness. We have to fulfill all righteousness. I believe. Turn to the past. This is what I believe. When the issue is about righteousness, there are things you have to leave. Some friends. Amen. Amen. When you decided to come in 77, there are people who are insulting you. Some things you're crazy. But you know you're seeking God. And you're seeking the Holy Spirit. So, there are things that you desired and loved them. But in the meantime, no you have but to do righteousness, you decide. If righteousness exalts a nation, how can it fail to lift me past the line? Think about it. If righteousness exalts this church and takes the power of righteousness, me, me a single person, righteousness will just sky, cause me to skyrocket. If righteousness is coming, because the nation is heavy, if righteousness can come, what about you a single person? How far shall it take you? Meaning some things that you design like some will not come until when 
You fulfilled righteousness. Though you're not clapping a bit. None of you drives a Rolls Royce. None of you has an estate. Things that you need God to do for you. But brethren, Bible says, Obadiah chapter one, verse seventeen. They shall be deliverance and holiness. And the children of God will possess their possessions. What is hindering us to take a holiness? Brethren, what is still hindering us? We pray, we believe, we are served, but unrighteousness. Your unrighteousness has separated me from you. This is not because of lack of faith. It is just unrighteousness. Because God is holy. I say be holy as I am holy. So, no one is on gay. So, it's up to us. This is what I believe. The families on all families, because they were in bondage, they could not afford a lamb. Standard God's standard was every household had to get a lamb. They would sacrifice. They would sacrifice. And get the blood and smear it on the doors. I believe there are people who had no houses. I believe there are those who are unable to afford a lamb. But understand the price. You know, at times we really without understanding. If there were two million, how many households were those? Some of them went to, to, to relatives' homes. The angel of death was passing away. If he found you out of If he found you without blood, it means others bleed. Say, please protect me in your house. My father and mother, daughters, we are orphans. Our house was taken. They took us out. There are others who humbled themselves that they may survive death. Doing righteousness, you have to put pride and arrogance on the side. Because righteousness is a crown. All of us have our own heads. One half of our own heads. Gown train has to have an entourage of We have those ideas. But if you know that the one who has been a child of God is not a child of God, then you should be able to get out of your seat. You can't come out of your pit. Baganda said, Men are frogs. Baganda said, Men are frogs. Men are frogs. You know that proverb. You just take it. 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 But you are a child of God. You are in the house of God. We won't leave you in the pit. I believe others could not afford to buy for them. They pleaded with those who could afford to buy for them. But when all of them left Egypt, this is the miracle. When all of them left Egypt, as they were distributed to the land, everybody got a portion. You didn't get what I said. If you're in the house of your mouth, if you're in the house of your mouth, if you're in the house of your hands, don't be the hold of them. Give them unto God in full swing. When they left, 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 when
If you want to have a glorious gown, you put it on. But I'm not of the bondage of sin. Of the bondage of sin. We can't come out by ourselves. This is the bitter truth. The church of Christ in Uganda cannot come out while we leave others behind. We can't. You didn't get what I said. Some of us marry. Of we are righteous and cleansed. We can't. When you're still there, we build houses and you haven't built. That is impossible. That is not the way of God. He desires all of us to come out of bondage of sin, bondage of poverty, and of disease. Clap your hands to Jesus Christ. 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 We spoke to Moses and told them to go out. Moses told them, you know, this is amazing. We don't know how these houses were. The nature of the houses. But the Bible says. Moses told them now, tell your neighbor to borrow your money. Give you earrings, uh, bracelets, and gold and silver. We are living. Even the one who was accommodated got a neighbor around. So you give me something. I'm going to tell you something about righteousness. Righteousness is obedience. Whenever we are righteous and we obey God, the blessing will not come upon us. It will come to our children and our neighbors and our friends. We are living. You who are strong, uphold. You who are ready and who are ready to help these ones that are not yet. Help these ones that are not yet. Jesus immersed himself in Daniel. Do you know the River Jordan? You know where it comes from, its source. Let's start with the Nile. By the time the water flows into the Nile, Egypt, how many people have bathed in that water? Others urinate in it. Others defecate. Doing righteousness is quite glorious. Jesus was saying that he has a whole lot of things. But he said, let me do the righteousness. Because where righteousness is, the devil and his power are nullified and failed. Jesus is saying that he has a whole lot of things. Did you know that righteousness is a requirement? Even having holy communion never eat of it when you're sinful. The Bible says that if you eat of it, you will be like Paul. Paul winds up saying that some of you are sick. Others even die among them. So I'm asking, I got saved. But I've not fulfilled all righteousness. But when they are serving the Holy Communion, if it is not the great God, we would be burying every week. So the issue of sanctifying your marriage is not about and let them people see. It requires you to be righteous. Also, we look for that. Benefits. You may receive the benefits. For He forgives all our sins and He heals all our diseases. We are a chosen generation. We are a holy nation. Righteousness exalts a holy nation. You're going to see how God is going to exalt you. Marriage is greater than just marrying a woman who 
Matoke a woman who porridge and then uh, okay. the food is porridge. It is much more than Let that. Let me give you an example. God gave me the vision of this cathedral in 1984. I was praying out there. I saw it. I came back in church. I told them. I came back in church. I told them. Mbantu kwa wagulali mukama nanga na ita na nini taka nanga de wali tunda neta de kusonde taka. We began to raise money to buy this land. Neto tega kana neto kwa lajiti ya fundraising vikiyo. Neyenda mala kuwasa. But it was after I married. Tuwa tuwa mahane mo. As we were coming out of our house. Mukama nanga madi gendo tani koko zimbeka nisa. The Lord told me go start building the church with the money you have. Matani kana dola chikumi. We started with a hundred dollars. Kana fikazo mukole ya chimpa. The Korean woman gave it to me. And I came with it. When I came here, Mr. Lubega was in Chicago. He brought a thousand dollars. With the set of drums called Tama. We have it in, it was our first set of drums. And he said, go to all you to bring it. We changed it. We began to lay bricks. The 9-9. The 9-9 bricks. And we took it to the church. We took them for quite a few chicken. We took them for quite a few chicken. Samples in Gamuenda took us about the government in the Jambamu Zimbis. This is the kind of thing you, like you can't believe. Once in Omosinj, in the foundation of this cathedral, there are nine nine bricks, and it will come in a monana. A hundred and eighty thousand concrete bricks. Okay. So, with what hand did he That's how we started. There are some things, brother, sister, that you cannot achieve. Unless when you are into holy matrimony. Marriage is very, very significant. So, anyway, the Lord is good. So, it is my prayer. That people out there will understand that the weddings of these people step closer to our possessing our land. It's a step closer to possess our land. When you find people in the country, tell them, come, let's go marry you. I'm not going to introduce, let's go. When you lack confidence, even what belongs to you, you may fail to get it. There's a family I know it's in Panama. They family ya Torrijos. Torrijos is a revolutionary. Torrijos was Panama. Revolutionary man. The time he was in Fidel Castro. Around the time of Fidel Castro. Ba gundi ba no ba ni omsaji oni yali ya Mozambique yani ya fira mo helicopter. Savimbi. Eh? Savimbi. He have a chef governor. Not done in Mozambique. I feel Mozambique. Savimbi. Shamona Mashel. That is the same generation. Ba Rumumba, Ba Aniabo. That's the same generation. Kwe Murembo. Kaka tira na yafira ma helicopter. Died in a helicopter. And who was killing them? Nobody knows. E yali abata ngati ba mumani. But Nafa. But he died. Na e yali azadde omwana. He had given birth. He was estranged from his wife, official wife. He gave birth to that son, friend of mine. Kwanu Gwangi. Kati nagi na nazaro mwana. He gave birth to a son, another Torihos. Torihos or Molala. Or Mochalo or Molala. In another woman. Kati njaga njaga lo udave. I want you to see. Kakati ono yatwa le di nyara tatawe. This one took the father's name. Looks like his father. But this one also looks his father, but more like his mother. When they they got into a political party. They were going to be a king. They were going to be a king. They were going to be a king. They had to stand through that political party. Panama wanted a Torrijos to come and lead the country. But they said, 
Ono kwa tupatu simba u. They say let's uh, upon this one. Kakati ono mukulu. So the elder son. Nga, nga nata sola kufuna bululu buwera. Did not get enough votes. Ato ono e yazali buweru. The one who was born in an estranged marriage. Nga li very popular. Nga mututunu. Nga nebitu habiteke ila nyo kuse. He knew about ono. politics. Kakati na ono nga atide. But he was afraid. No ono nga atide. Both of them were afraid. So I, when again the Panama, when I went to Panama, Bombi Balokole, both of them are believers. Kalinyagalolabe omolabe wa inzo kuwa anisa family. It is not right to take over. See how families. Na yeye mule merewa. But you fail. Kwa ngono agamba. Because one is saying. How was born from one is born. How can I come? Ona agamba. See na what it takes. Instead of working together. Instead of working together and solve the problem. And they take the president. That's what they had to do. I advise them. He said, "This is your chance." Your father labored to build this nation to its independence. Why don't you sort out your problems and possessing and see what you have done? And they did. And one of them became president. But if you lack confidence, but if you lack confidence, you may fail to take even what is handed to you. Even when you raise your hand, oh Lord, answer. In the words that you are saying, you are still in sin. You are not sanctified. The enemy accuses the brethren. The accuser of the brethren. He doesn't want you to finish the prayer. He uses your conscience. Say, however much you pray. I said, of course, I'm going to go to channel 44. Watching you on channel 44. This one's marriage is not sanctified. Why is she praying? And you feel it inside. After praying, you tell your neighbor, we have no money. Why, why, why do you want to sanctify them? Aren't we living? But deep down, it is convicting you. Let me tell you. You know why we dress up? I thought about it recently. Why do we dress up to, get, to gain confidence? Seriously. The hair, the looking making up, which is is confidence building. Can somebody stop you from going through town when you're putting on your t-shirt and your boxer? If I have a PhD, I get something. And they were looking for me. I come out in a boxer. With my sneakers. With my t-shirt. I have no clothes. Can't you give me the job? I'm asking you here. Won't you open up for me? Why don't you open up for me? Why don't you open up for me? What's wrong with me? Isn't a boxer? If he was coming like, probably I fell among robbers and they took my clothes. They already told me. When Pastor Kayanja comes, he's the one who comes. You bring him straight to the boardroom. I come with my t-shirt and my boxers. Or with a vest and my, and my boxers and barefoot. I say, I'm Pastor Kayanja, these are my credentials. And my so you run and hide. You just ask, sir, what happened to you? First hide. Let's try to look for some old clothes. We get everything. For confidence. But what gives somebody more confidence? What gives people confidence? Is righteousness. Even if you're fighting a mighty man, you're fighting over a nation. You're arguing with a person as a person. But when you know you're the right person, and you know the, your name is down there, and you know your boundary, you'll be a David against Goliath.
confidence chintu chikuru nyo confidence and confidence elimbutu kirivu ya amanyi nyo no lwensonge tugenda kuba batukuvu twanyi so mulabe satani possessing our possessions we possess our possessions so you are not alone tugenda kuimira namu we are going to stand with you haleluya haleluya okuva kwanjula from your introduction up to your wedding mugene muto mukomo Thank you for coming. For showing us example. So look at all this. How can we win when our brothers and sisters are holding us back? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. If you have a child who passed away and they are going for an interview and have no clothes, huh? Huh? can't you borrow and clothe your child? Your child highly, they passed highly but have no suitcase to go. What do you do? Can't you borrow a suitcase for your child? They were taking a woman's hands. Do you know what she did? Prophet said, you go and borrow a suitcase. Go borrow. Doing righteousness is very important. Because the Lord knows we cannot overcome by ourselves. To possess this nation, all of us have to be righteous. Tell your neighbor. They, they called those who are not yet married. Are you officially married or legally married? Ask your neighbor. Ask him, are you, are you married? Or? Do you, 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 have, do you have a woman? Why? Ask that your neighbor, how old are you? Ask them, what are you waiting for? Tell, tell them in my family, we are going to give you a partner any time. Why are people ask yourselves? If someone is this, gazing, tell, tell them I have my brother. I'll give you my sister Nama anytime. Glory to God. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Do you know that you're going to become richer than you are by the end of this year? Come on, lift up your hand and clap them to Jesus. Stand up and uh, just jump seven times and say, Glory! Glory, 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 glory. Your life will never be the same again. The Lord is so good. The Lord is so, so good. The Lord is so good. The, um, the Holy Spirit book is going to be a blessing. Another point is the Holy Spirit. Because he's the one who convicts the world of sin. And child of God, we have to publish the book of the Holy Spirit. If I, if I had all the money that I'm, be, I'm believing to have very soon, I'm going to give Bibles, free Bibles to everybody who needs a Bible. Because that's the word of God. That is the word of God. And, and, and this project the Holy Spirit gave us to let people read, especially those who are speaking. Uh, somebody's translating the second book in, um, in, in French. The other one has been translated in German already. And this one as well. They're working on Luganda. They're working on Lunyakitara and Luo. This is the best gift you'll ever give to anyone. It's a little bit thicker and bigger from the other one. But it is the whole, you, you, 
There are seven layers of the Holy Spirit. Seven layers. So sometimes many of us have just received one layer. Just one layer. I mean, one layer is enough to run your life and be blessed. But there is a second one. There is a third one. Then there is a fourth one. Then there is a fifth one. By the time you reach number seven, mm? Mm? Job 22 is fulfilled. You shall decree a thing and it shall be established for you. Actually, actually, listen to this. For those of you who are talking about holy matrimony, the hospital just reminded me. Let's turn to Job 22. Job 22. Job 22. Job 22, he said, and then you shall remove iniquity far away from your tent or house. You know the iniquity that is in our house? The iniquity is through worship and living. Iniquity is what we live. Uh, the Bible said that iniquity was found in him. It's a lifestyle. Iniquity is a lifestyle. If thou return to the Almighty, getting saved, thou shalt be built up, developed. Hmm? Thou shalt put away iniquity far from thy tabernacles. And your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. So he's talking about lifestyles. So every time you hear about iniquity, it's about lifestyle. The lifestyle of, of people, some of us is just uh, living anyhow. Uh, loose living, and yet you've returned to the Almighty. You're a child of God, you're born again, but then the lifestyle does not match what you have believed in. Then he said, you shall remove iniquity from your tent. That's why we are doing these hundreds of weddings on Thursday. We are removing iniquity from our tent. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. We wish them peace and righteousness in their homes as the Lord has done it for us. We also have people who helped us as we are into our weddings. Nobody can handle a wedding alone. I remember Roller Max gave us the tent. The former director of Rocco Construction. He was the only one who had the tent, I remember, in Uganda when I got married. The late Roller Max. You see? He was the only one who had the tent in Uganda. Then we've come very far. Hmm? Wow. It's amazing, man. Uh, anyway, if you've never heard if, if you know people fundraise for your wedding, do unto others that has been done unto you. That's why people have been bringing wedding gowns from the UK. Ah, it's going to be powerful. Kapere is getting married. Hey. Okay, the Holy Spirit. In this book, we are dealing with the several items. It's very good. I mean, it's, it's not for sale, but it's, it's, we are giving it away. It's the person of the Holy Spirit, the power of the Holy Spirit, the partner of the Holy Spirit, the, the place of the Holy Spirit, the currency of the Holy Spirit, the language of the Holy Spirit, living with the Holy Spirit, and the invisible clothes of Adam. This will change the way you deal with the Holy Spirit. In fact, in fact, it will teach you how to discern spirits. 
to teach you how to discern spirits. It's one of the attributes. Close that door. I don't know whether ushers understand. Today they work, tomorrow they don't work. They close that door. So, the, it is very important. Very, very important. That you get to understand the Holy Spirit. After you read it, please pass it on to someone else. And tell him, please. And actually, you can, you can get it. And write your name on it. And after you finish, you give it to someone. Then he, write, he writes the name there. And we can see how far that book will travel. Whether you are a, a river or a reservoir or, or a, a, a dead sea. M Prophet Micah, chapter 1. Let's go there. We've been studying on Micah and Isaiah chapter 9. The government shall be upon his shoulder. Tomorrow we begin week number 11. Number 11 in the Hebrew means a lot. It means a lot. There are 12 tribes of Israel. But then there are two tribes that were never, never acknowledged when Joseph died. Those are the two sons of, of, uh, of Joseph. So the others are 12. But number 11 is, it means Joseph. According to Jacob. Uh, Joseph is number 11 of the, of, the, of the children of, of, of Jacob. And uh, Jacob struggled. He had children. He produced many children. He had praise. He had Leviticus. He had, he had all these names. Uh, and he gave them wonderful names. But none of them delivered him from the hand and the grip of Laban, his uncle. When Joseph was born, they began paying him what they had taken from him. Joseph is an interpreter of dreams. He's the one who takes God's people from nowhere and put them in Goshen where the good land is. You are today have entered the zone called Joseph zone. No wonder even when Jesus Christ was going to be born, Mary was already located. The family, her family was already located. Her auntie six months ago, the same angel Gabriel had visited Elizabeth, who is the auntie of Mary. So it was already in the family. It was already in the vicinity. But they were looking for a Mary who is engaged to a Joseph, who is connected to a Joseph, the one who delivers God's people in the good stuff, good life, good resources. This week, the Lord is alive allowing you, you're going to be delivered where things are good. Oh, you didn't hear what I just said. Uh, enough of bad things is enough. Uh, you, you've had enough friends, enough bad friends, enough bad money. God now is going to deliver you where the good money is, where the good people are, where the good connections are, where the good joy is, where the good house is. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're going to... You're going to see the goodness of the Lord. Lift up your hands and say, I'll see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. 
How many of you have, yes, you're a believer, but you're, you're tired of, 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 of having raw deals. You rent a house, but it's leaking. No electricity. The landlord is always changing. May the Lord deliver you to a good place. Since you got saved, you know the Lord. But somehow, somewhere, something is not working out. Then you are sick. Two weeks later, you are okay. This is going on. May the Lord give you good health in Jesus' name. Joseph took the 72 people of Israel and he delivered them to a good land called Goshen where they multiplied to 2 million people. Joseph allows you to live longer to experience the favor of God. Joseph doesn't die. You throw him in a pit, he comes out. Ah, uh, you're not here. You throw Joseph in a pit, he's going to come out. You throw him in Potiphar's house, he will be on top. You throw him in prison, he will come out. You take him to Pharaoh, he will be next in command. This is a week where you're going to exceed and go to another level where you have never gone before. Oh, come on, somebody clap your hands to Jesus. Number 11 simply means Joseph. And Joseph produces in distress. He produces in areas where you least expect him to proceed, to, to succeed. Until you squeeze him like an orange, you'll never see his orange juice. Oh, you didn't hear it. Joseph Yusufu. does not like a uh, conducive atmosphere. No, he enjoys, enjoys tough, tough days. Uh, you put him in a tough day. Oh boy, he will surprise you. I say he will surprise you. Joseph becomes the prime minister in a foreign land. Child of God, you are about to become a general manager in a company where you own no shares. The spirit of Joseph. Ah. Joseph interprets dreams. Yusuf Nobody had ever seen the three kings of the East. But when Joseph accepted that his wife will become a mother of the Son of God, conditions became tougher. Caesar Augustus decreed there must be a census. It was the first census. Now you're going to see how Joseph succeeds under tough conditions where everybody else failed. The spirit of Joseph survives and wins big. Thank God for every trouble that has come your way. I say thank God for every pressure you are going through. You are designed to overcome those pressures. Okay, I don't know who I'm talking to. Somebody, are you going through tough times? Pastor David, are you going through tough times? These are your days. These are your times. Come on, slap somebody next to you and say, this is your time. The world to know what kind of a God you serve. Joseph is engaged to a girl who talks to angels. But Josephs don't just marry ordinary women. They marry women who talk to angels. 
Can I have any Joseph here? I say, can I have any Joseph here? The Josephs are not, are not connected to anybody who is ordinary. Slap the person next to you and said, I'm, I would have gone with you, but you are too ordinary for me. He said, I, tell me, said, I love the craziness of your faith. The Josephs don't, have, don't engage anybody who is just calm and nice. Nice and put up your hand up for our friend and say, praise the Lord, hallelujah, God is good. No, uh, they, they, they love hanging out with people who are totally crazy. If you are a girl and you are engaged to a man and your wedding is pending, you don't talk to nobody. But Mary did. Mary did. You don't allow any man to talk to you. But Mary did. The Josephs marry crazy women. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Because they're about to produce something extraordinary. Somebody said, I'm connected to Joseph. Hey, I'm, I'm about to go somewhere. Joseph, the husband of Mary, he said, I, I, I love her, but I will not shame her publicly. The Josephs are not driven by public opinion. Uh, they, are not, they are not driven by public opinion. Love drives them. Do I have any Joseph here? They don't like ordinary stuff. May the Lord give you not an ordinary car, an ordinary house, an ordinary marriage, an ordinary, an ordinary system. Joseph, the husband of Mary, when she had the decree, he said to Mary, the pregnant fiance of a pregnancy, he doesn't know who's the owner. The Josephs are crazy. They take home women who are pregnant and they are not responsible. Oh, you're not hearing what I'm talking about. The Lord is going to give you somebody who is already pregnant with a vision that will change the whole world. Somebody who has an idea, who is impregnated with an idea of the Holy Ghost. And together you're going to change the world. Together you're going to go on an adventure. Enough of hanging out with ordinary people is over. Enough is enough. You hang out with people whose dreams are Chikomando. Under that mango tree. May the Lord hang you with somebody who is crazy enough to fill Uganda with the Holy Spirit, to fill this nation with the power of Almighty God. Ah. Hallelujah. Tell the pastor next to you, said, I like you. You are a wonderful person, but your vision is too local, man. Let me go look for somebody who is mad enough to believe for the international level. So the other person said, I, you, you look like a wonderful person. And uh, you're, 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 you're nice. But I'm looking for the crazy one. Um, um, 
I'm looking for the crazy one. Hey, I'm, I'm so it's okay. Tell him it's, it's okay. It's okay. Go find your normal ones. Hey, go find your normal ones. It's okay. It was nice meeting you, by the way. Hey, but you are too normal. I, I, I want something crazy. Nah, I want somebody crazy who talks to the angels. Who get pregnant without no man touching it? Ah! 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 I want the extra special ones. Huh? Ah! 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 I want, to, I want to fall in love with those who are saying, I'm pregnant with the Savior of the World. <laughs> Savior of the World Project. Project Mary came to Joseph and said, Hey, Jaya. Hey, Jose. Yusuf. Yusuf. Pregnant with the Savior of the World. <laughs> Even Joseph himself is crazy. He takes to his parents to his hometown. A woman has not married. They're just engaged. But she's found with a child. And he doesn't know who the father is. He's, he's more interested in seeing how how a child of God comes up. How a child of God comes up. How a, a athlete woman can give birth to a divine child. Than knowing who the father is. He doesn't get engaged. What's this? Where did you go? You're pregnant with who? The angel came and talked to you. What's the name of the angel? Gabriel. He talked to you. And automatically you became pregnant. And you're going to have a child. That, that child is the son of God. Man, I've been serving God all my life. I've never seen one of his kids. So, only nine months. I'll see the child of God. I have peace enough. And I'm going to see your child. I said, I'm, I'm going to wait out. I'm going to wait out until I see a face of God. Because if that baby is a child of God, he must look like his father. Ah, I said, I'll wait out. Only nine months. I'm going to wait out. I'm not in a hurry. I've been waiting all my life. But if you're talking about God, you producing God, and I'm the one to raise God, that's what I've been waiting for. I'm tired of raising my uncle's children. They are pinheads. I want to raise child of God. Ah, I want a mentor of God. And the decree comes. And Joseph said, I'm taking you home. I want my mama to see you. And I want her to touch your, 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 your stomach and, and feel the baby inside. The God child inside of you. Please, please, those of you are not yet married. Don't marry any man who doesn't see the God dream inside of you. Who doesn't see the God son inside of you. Who doesn't see life of God inside of you. And you young men, don't marry women who don't talk to angels. Ah. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. At my ex, you know, 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 at my ex, Giving me a chance. Tell them. Find an angel fast. <laughs> 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 and 
Cabrose. They go home. Crazy couple. Tell the person, say, this is a crazy couple. Do I, have, do I have any crazy couple around here? Ah, may you be crazy for Jesus. Be crazy for the Holy Ghost. Be crazy for the power of Almighty God. Crazy couple. They go to the first inn. No room. And another one. No room. Means the people are poor. They're building inns. Motels. Instead of hotels. Poor Bethlehem. They say nobody has ever produced something fantastic. We're going to produce it. The best. Tourist attraction. And the first people to come are the angels from heaven. You are about to produce something that will cause people to fly from other countries to come where you are. In this week of number 11, 11 means Joseph. Ooh. Baba. Somebody is about to receive a lot of money in this week. A lot of money. I said a lot of money. Thank you, Jesus. I receive it. A lot of favor. A lot of power. A lot of grace. A lot of second chance. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. Now, seriously, this is what happened. They go to eat Bethlehem. There's no room. They decide to go where cows are to deliver a baby. Uh -huh. maybe, some, maybe some of you, the, the, the best cow you see is on your plate and you have a fork and a knife. That is the best cow or cattle you ever see. But we who raise cattle, you don't want to walk in a crowd. Because the dung is there. Urine is there. Smell is there. The good thing is they deliver him at night. So the flies don't fly at night most of the time. I don't like flies. They create maggots. Zizala envunyu. I don't like a fly. You saw the lady yesterday who chew on a man's toe. Blood all over here. She ate the first one. She was going for the second one. When she missed the first one, she went for her finger. You saw her yesterday? My God. Those are kind of women you must marry. You <laughs> but by the time the year is over, you have no toes. <laughs> to Listen, people. I don't like flies. I don't like flies. But on a farm, they are useful. Because they sit on the dung and they lay eggs, they turn into maggots. Then the maggots can feed your chicken. 
You get big chicken. You get big chicken. The feed, feed of maggots. Yeah. High protein. Yeah. Maggots are very high in protein. protein. That's why I'm a vegetarian now. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. But anyway, na <laughs> ye. Joseph and Mary, Yusuf and Maria, they decide to turn a crowd of animals into a hospital. Both of them have never had a baby. So one is pushing, and one is nursing. Crazy. May God give you an experience of success that you have never had before. Woo! Joseph was there saying, Come on, push. Push God. Push God. <laughs> Push God. Push God. Push God. God. And Joseph was there to catch God. People of God, from today, everything you're going to produce will have a touch of God, will be godly itself. And whatever is born of God overcometh the world. Oh, this week, number 11, you're going to produce God kind of product. No failure. No death. No, 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 no suffering. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and when Jesus came out, you know, baby, come out with the head. He pushes his head out. He said, Hi, Joseph. <laughs> Yeah, huh? Who are you? Gwani. Mary said, That's Jesus. When I'm going to you, you want to Joseph pulled his head out. Yusuf Naska Yomotwe. And all of a sudden, the angels were singing. Hallelujah. 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 Child of God, you're going to hear music you've never heard before. This whole week is a week of victory. This whole week is a week of power. This is a week of hearing heavenly music. Victory is in your house. Victory you know, carpenters always walk with all kinds of knives. They walk with all kinds of things that they can use to cut. Joseph had to cut out one of his knives. <laughs> and he cut the umbilical cord. <laughs> I said, how do they tie it? He said, I don't know. Jesus said, let me teach you. He tied his own umbrical cord. <laughs> Child of God, something incredible is about to happen to you. Miracles are going to happen in your own house. The Bible says, all of a sudden, the shepherds arrived. Then the kings came. And they didn't come empty-handed. Gold came with them. Gold is the backbone of currency. In this book of the Holy Spirit, I deal with the currency of the Holy Spirit. Child of God, every currency has denominations. A hundred dollar bill, fifty dollar bill. Your level is going to another level. Where Jesus was born, God was the one to be used. Because God crosses borders. Nobody are you going to be denied to travel elsewhere you want to go. 
after this week of number 11 because you don't have enough money on the account. God is giving you the favor and the power and the currency called the Holy Spirit to purchase everything you are looking for. Hallelujah, glory to God. You're going to have something that nobody does. You're going to have something special. It will cross the border. You speak Ribra, and you get the visa and you go and travel and visit and come back you say man brother they will make you an agent of their product God is about to sit you on a plane with somebody who manufactures things that this nation needs and you will be appointed the agent you, your house will become a depot ah! of the latest computers, computers you will become the agent of the mobile phones which are cheaper but better. You are about to go to another level. I don't know whom I'm talking to. I don't know whom I'm talking to. This is a week of Joseph. This is a week of Joseph. And amazingly, the Lord said to Joseph, in a dream, take the woman and the child to Egypt. Why Egypt? Because that's where Joseph, the first Joseph, exploited this world system and took it to another level. Go there, Joseph, and take the child with you. People of God, this week is going to connect you with history makers. With history makers. You're going to trade where they trade. You're going to rob shoulders with those who have done it before you. You're going to find yourself with the Bill Gates of this world. You're going to find yourself with the anointed of this world. You're going to find yourself with the holy people of this world. You're going to find yourself with those who manufacture cars and, and open doors. This week, you'll hear testimonies of what Jehovah has done for you, for your family. The impossible is about to become possible. Don't tell me they remove your ovaries. Don't tell me they remove your uterus. Mary could conceive and have a real child when no man attached to her. You are about to produce because Jehovah can give you a new uterus and a new ovary. We sat at the clock tower. A woman came. I have the medical reports. They remove her uterus in Zambia hospital. Yeah, we have the papers. We have the medical form. She came at the clock tower. We were in a great move of God. The power of God touched her. She went back to the hospital. They scanned everything and they found she has another new uterus. You tell me what that is. Child of God, get ready. This is a week of the crazy. This is the week of the crazy. This is the week of the crazy. In God. This is the week of those who are believing God for the impossible. This is the week of not the miserable. This is the week of the crazy. Who believe in God for the impossible. This is the week of the impossible. This is the week of the impossible. What you thought is impossible. It is possible with God. Hallelujah. 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 Somebody shout. Shout 21 times and say glory. 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 The glory is falling in your house. The glory is falling in your business. The glory is falling in your house. The glory is, your house. The glory is falling on you. Come on, jump around seven times. And say glory. 
Ribro Cosete Rebo Sata, Ribro Taramo Sita Rama Cassete, the glory, the glory, you are about to go where eagles dare, you are about to go where the mighty dare, you are about to have what nobody has ever had in your family by the divine supernatural power of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' mighty name. You are about to experience divine touch by the Holy Spirit. The life of God is about to infuse your life that which your mama never had, that which your papa never had. You are about to have in plenty in the name of Jesus. You'll have money to give away. You'll have money to worship God. You'll have money to fulfill your dreams. You will experience the power of the fulfilled dreams. Jump another seven times and shout glory. Your family will never be the same. Your name will never be the same. You are going down in history as a connector of God and man. You will see the power of salvation. You will look at what God can do, the first one to see it. The first one in your family to be a billionaire. The first one in your clan to be a trillionaire. The first in your family to be a multi-billionaire. You will see nations saved. You will see your church exploding. You will see your ministry go to another level. It's week 11. Today, in the evening, as we anoint you with oil, when you come tonight, when we anoint you with oil, you will receive the power of a Joseph in you. You will never see financial embarrassment. I prophesy to you that time has come as Joseph delivered his mama and his papa and his stepmother and his nephews and stepbrothers out of the hand of Laban. You are about to deliver your family out of the hand of the stronghold, out of the hand of the snare. God is delivering you. Out. You, 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 you. You are about to take your phone out of bondage, out of suffering, out of diseases, out of cancer, out of poverty. Oh, yes. Jump another seven times. And shout glory. Holy Ghost glory. Holy Spirit glory. Holy Spirit glory. Holy Spirit glory. Holy Spirit glory. Holy Ghost glory. Holy Ghost glory. Holy Ghost glory. Kings came with frankincense, with mouth, and with gold. And the family took a vacation for six years trying to figure out who, what God has to do. God is about to bless you. Seven years of great increase in your life begins today. Who can stand against the king? No one. Raise your voices and sing. No one will. Who can stand up? No one, no one can, no one will. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, lift your hands. Oh, oh, oh. Victory, belongs. Victory belongs to Jesus. Yes.
Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Who can stand against the king? No one can. No one can. No mountain, no problem. Who can stand up? Who can stand against the king? No one. No cancer, no poverty, no lack. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Come on, Jitter man, come on, take it. Oh, victory belongs to Jesus. Victory belongs to you. so high, no valley so low can separate you between the love of God. You've entered week number 11 oh, of the 77 dogs through it, where the Holy Spirit is about to explode. He's about to explode here. The power is about to explode here. The power of the Holy Spirit is about to explode here. Upon the sick, upon the blind, upon the deaf, upon the poor, upon the repentant, the power of God is about to explode here in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, by the Spirit of the living God, receive, receive the Holy Ghost. Victory belongs to him. Victory belongs to him. Victory belongs to him. Victory belongs to him. Oh. To Jesus, victory belongs to Him. Victory belongs to Him. Lift your hand, lift your hand. 
So Father, I yield to the Holy Spirit. The anointing you placed on Joseph. I receive it now. The wisdom, the intelligence here, the ability, the calmness, the humility, but the strength and the Holy Spirit. Let him explode over me. In me. And change everything in my life. That everything I touch will be a blessing. In Jesus' name. I realize my responsibility. That I'm a child of God. That I've been called by God. To do the impossible. To change the world. To deliver my family. Out of mediocrity. And place them in the hand of Jehovah. Where he can multiply them. Where he can feed them, where he can anoint them, where they can become his people, and he become our God. I decree and declare, Uganda, Uganda, you belong to God. Uganda, Uganda, you're a nation of God, not witchcraft, not religious. You belong to Jesus. You belong to God. I've been called by God to preserve sent to you a living God by the power of the Holy Spirit in Jesus name Amen, Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah Glory, glory, glory the power of God is so strong here in Jesus name in Jesus name in Jesus name in Jesus' name. Oh, lift up your hand and worship the Lord. Just worship the Lord. In the beauty of holiness. In Jesus' name. Shout shouts of adoration. Make shouts of adoration. To the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit. To the Holy Spirit. Make adoration to the Holy Ghost. Ribroto Shatapa Kutarambre de Shita. Rido Robro Setere Kishetaranambre de. To the Holy Spirit of God. To the Holy Spirit of God. To the Holy Spirit of God. To the Spirit of a living God. The Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Shouts of adoration. Shout holy, righteous, mighty, powerful, great, life, power, holy, living God. Bow down and worship him. Worship him. Lord, we bend our knees to worship him. He's holy. He's holy. He's holy. He's holy. We bend our knees to worship you. We bend our knees to worship you. You are holy. You are holy. You are holy. No one is like you. No one is like you, Father. No one is like you, Holy Spirit. No one is like you. We bend our knees to worship you. The Lamb that sits upon the throne. Make 
Make shouts of adoration to him. Holy, mighty, powerful, great. His presence is here. Worship him. Desire him. He will feel you. He will feel you. Please, the elders and angels bow, the redeemed. sound of many waters it is the sound of worship coming from his throne come on cry out there are cries of adoration tell him you are holy you are mighty people from every nation Lifting up their voices to make his praises known. Shout holy, mighty, powerful. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Up your hands, tell him, Holy, 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 are you Lord? We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Holy Spirit. We worship you, Father. Are you Lord? The 
elders and angels the Shout glory, holy, mighty God. Oh, clap your hands to Jesus. You may stand up on your feet. The presence of the Lord is so strong here. The anointing of Joseph is descending upon us. You are about to experience you have never experienced before. Oh, this... Phase three is the phase of the Trinity. Phase, phase of the Holy Spirit. You don't even know what has happened to you. Today is the best day of your life. The anointing comes strong and powerful. My God, my God, my God. If it wasn't to take care of which people of witchcraft, this was the best way to just go home and relax and or sleep around on the carpet and be in the presence of God. But you have to relieve people of witchcraft. So you may be seated. But before we do that, the Holy Spirit has given us a mandate to publish the book of the Holy Spirit and make it available. Why? Let me tell you something. People know Jesus. Everybody. They know he came. Even non-believers. They celebrate his birth by selling all kind of junk. They call it holidays. They know he died. He was buried. It's a historical fact. There is even a tomb in Jerusalem that is in the Bible. The meaning of AD simply means advent. He came. They know it started when Jesus came. It used to be before Christ. BC. So the whole world is measured on either before he came or after he came. So the world knows. But the world does not know that Jesus is alive today in the power of the Holy Spirit. People are so ignorant about the Holy Spirit, especially in the church, especially believers. They don't know whether he's a fire or a dove or whatever it is. And, the Holy, and God has given us a grace. He has permitted us. I'm telling you, this is a privilege for us to talk about him. That's why we are not, we are not selling this book. People are requesting how much is it all over the world. We say we're going to give it to you for free. If we have ever given anything, I know Uganda, we've given the water of the Nile to millions of people, billions of people, including Jesus and Moses. But I'm telling you, sharing the Holy Spirit to make more people in Uganda know the Holy Spirit language, know the Holy Spirit who he is, they will shine away from witchcraft, they will defeat the forces of fear, they will, they will overcome religious bias and religious uh, whatever demons of religion, and they will embrace the real true God, and then you will see how a nation will be transformed in a day, in Jesus name, so we've been mandated to do this. And, um, and I'm, I'm going to ask the, uh, the, 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 the production department. I don't know if you did not receive a copy. Okay. I, I want them 
when they give you only one copy per person and we are not giving it to children we are not giving it to children no we are giving it to grown ups after you read it then you pass it on to somebody else because book number 4 is coming and number 5 and number 6 and number 7 after that the Lord will let us know. Come on, to take us. So production. Our production is uh, is is. Uh, I want I want the team of production. Where are you? Please? Team of production, uh, wherever you are. Oh, now we're Yeah, bring the books. Bring the books. Bring the books. So you hold it and you'll know that somebody paid for this. Somebody paid for this. We, 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 have, we have a nation to reach. We have a nation to reach. God is going to do great things. The Lamb of God who sits upon the throne. Holy Spirit, will you stay? No cigar. Will you stay? No cigar. The Lord this week gave me a song. Not so many songs can come be given to you. In 1772, He gave me a song. 77. Three, he has given me a song. Uh, I'm just, I'm just, one of these songs, we shall record them. But the recent one is so powerful. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Will you stay? Don't forget the balcony, people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your children need your presence, Holy Spirit. We stay. So if you if you receive the copy, please be true. Don't take another one. Because you're denying a family which would have received a copy. So if you got a copy, yes, please don't. First of all, you'll be stealing in the house of God. And don't take a book for someone who is not here. No, sir, I got mine. My friend didn't get a book. No. no. You got your copy yesterday. That's it. Don't take for anyone who is not here. So each of you, you receive a copy. We're not giving children. After you read it, then share it with your children at home. Until each one of them will be able to read it. In Jesus' name. Production, don't forget balcony, please. Production, I'm not seeing anybody going to the balcony. Oh, they're still coming. So, don't get up. Yeah, go ahead and give. If you receive, no, let someone put up your hand, his hand. If you receive the copy, and Somebody to go on the balcony, please. Production. Production of Eriwa Bambuka. Ku balcony. 
You brother who is coming. Balcony. Balcony. And the other people, the other people were coming. Tell them balcony, balcony. Mubagambe bona bamboke ku balcony. Brother wenko fida yamboka ku balcony. Mwamboke ku balcony. Tell him balcony. Moloko li boba wafunye totu ala katabo kakubili. Holy Spirit, will you stay? Receive the book, put up your hand. Atana funa katabo wani ko mukono. Boba tona funa katabo wani ko mukono. Holy Spirit, will you stay? Your children need your presence. Holy Spirit, will you stay? Please stay in this nation, play in this place. Holy Spirit, will you stay? Holy Spirit, we need you. We need you. Your children need your your hand if you have not received the book the, that section over there everybody you people have already received it there on that section 
Sister, brother, those of you with books, come, 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 come. Holy Spirit, we need you. Your children. Those of you with books, come. Those of you with the books, come here. Buli, I know what I'm going to do with production. Those of you with the books, come. Our production, I know what I'm going to do with the books. Your children need your presence. Holy Spirit, we need you. If you have not received the book, put up your hand. Okay. I want you to go. You, 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 and the balcony. You come here. And you. You. You and you. Go in that section. Those of you with books, come here. Come here. Don't distribute books. If you got hold on. People, hold on before you give out more books. Brother Wenkofira. Hold on. Ben, whatever is distributing books, stop on there. Okay. I want, I want you, 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 and you go into that balcony and you go up. Go to the balcony. Okay, I want you and you and you and you go on those steps and go to the balcony and go to that section. Everybody with books, come here. Don't distribute more books. Tell those people in the balcony to stop. Those who have got books, bring them here. Is anybody in the, in the production hearing what I'm saying? Uh, no more books. Come on. We have so many books in circulation. Those of you have got books, whether you left over or whatever, bring it here. Okay. I want you and you and you three of you. No more distribution of books, but I continue to see people bringing out books. Office production. You know, send. Go tell them. They don't understand what I'm saying. Thank you, volunteers. If they have given you books, put them back. You stay here. 
Okay, no more giving of books. Okay. Okay. If you have not received a copy of books, uh, I mean a book, put up your hand. How comes that section hasn't received books? No, some of you have already received. Okay. You, 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 I want you to go still under the balcony at the entrance and give those books. Three of you. Three. Good. Just go over there. Then three of you go under that balcony and move towards the end. Get the books. Then one, two, three, go in that section. Don't take a book for somebody who's not here. You'll be embarrassed as you are leaving the gate. They will check you and find you another book with you. It will be an embarrassment to you. So why do you get embarrassed? Got there near the store there. Yeah. Okay, the other one with the cap. Just go on the steps and go to the balcony in that area where the clock is and give those people who haven't received the books. You don't give children, you give to grown-ups. Children, the parents will read and give it to their children. Okay. There are some people who are standing there. You with a cape. Go give those people. No, no, no. The other one. Take them those copies. of you go on that place. Okay, that's it. Got it. Your children need your presence. Holy Spirit will you If you got a copy of the book, lift it up, please. Hallelujah, just wave it, wave it, wave it, wave it, wave it. Just wave it, wave it, wave it, wave it. You know, it's shining with silver on it. In the book of Leviticus, come on, lift your hand if you've got a book. Lift your book. Uh, so, if, if, make sure you read it. There's a lot of truth in it. There's a lot of truth in this. And it will, it will help you. Come on, come on, wave it, wave it again. Say thank you, Jesus. Raise your hand. Even on the balcony everywhere. Come on, just shake it and wave it and wave it. Yeah, we declare the Holy Spirit to take over Uganda. We declare the Holy Spirit to take over this nation. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. God is good. Amen. Amen. We're going to do this all over the country.
colleges, universities, and colleges. And as you're holding it, you know someone paid for this. It didn't come for free. In Jesus' name. But what we are about to receive is greater than what we are giving. No, I've, I've read a lot of revival meetings, but I've never had anything what God has given us to publish the Holy Spirit. Therefore, we're going to give our, our, our seeds for the publishing of the book of the Holy Spirit. So, I want you to get hold of your seed. Make sure you come with your book. Oh, it, if it disappeared, don't, don't say somebody stole my Holy Ghost. Just know your neighbor is the suspect. If somebody steals a book, just know they're about to or steal or, or bite your finger. <laughs> I've seen many things in this 77 <laughs> days. Of Yesterday was something else. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. God is good. I'm, I'm, I'm believing God to raise 7,000 people who will give a million each to publish the book of the Holy Spirit. Uh, we have seven books, four more books to come. And I'm believing God for great things to happen. And we need to go into millions. We need to go into millions. And I know God will do great things. Thank you, baby. God richly bless. So if you've got a seat for the Holy Spirit, please come. Thank you. Oh. VPTJ. What is VBTJ? Victory belongs to Jesus. Eh? Victory belongs to oh, Jesus. Victory belongs to Jesus. VBTJ. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not educated. <laughs> I didn't know this. I'm, I didn't know how quick this will come. From Ashley. God fill me with the Holy Spirit. Wow. So bring your seed and light, sit the sun up here. Hey, thank, you, baby. thank you, baby. So bring your seed. Let's publish the book of the Holy Spirit. Now there are those who are members of the 7,000 Club. The 7,000 Club. And um, if you vote your million, you can come on the stage here. And, um, God will do great things. Amen. 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 God is good. So just, just come. Just come. Mm. Mm. We need you. Your we, your children, need your Spirit, we use You know, as we are planting our seeds, <laughs> listen to this. In the beginning, the earth where you are, of which you are part of, was a void. There was nothing. We were not here. Animals were not here. Stars were not here. But the Holy Spirit was hovering over the deep. Then God said, let there be light. We came as a result of the Holy Spirit. Do you know what that means? When you are exalting that power, when you are letting everybody know how powerful God is, how the Holy Spirit, do you know what's going to come out of you? Do you have any idea how rich you're going to become? God 
Listen to this. <laughs> Thank you, Holy Spirit. On the day of Pentecost, the Bible said, and they all spoke in other tongues as the Holy Spirit gave them what? Utterance. So they could not speak the tongues until the Holy Ghost enabled them to speak. Okay? Are you there? Are you there? Then, in the beginning, God said, so God could not say anything until the Holy Spirit told him what to say. Are you there? Whoa. So he knows where the gold was, where the animals could come. So God said that which the Holy Spirit told him. Which means the Holy Spirit is going to tell somebody to say to you this is your land. This is your money. Holy Spirit, talk to them on my behalf. Talk to them on my behalf. Hallelujah. Amen. Lift your seed. Just love. Just, just love. <laughs> my, 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 my. Just love. Just love. Just love. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. I know many of you are struggling, but just like. <laughs> just laugh, just laugh, just laugh. Just laugh. <laughs> laugh at this fact that God is talking to somebody to give you something. Oh, yeah, Father. I pray, Holy Spirit, please talk to them, talk to those people who have these people's cars and houses and lands and money to give it to them, to give it to them, to give it to them, to give it to them. This week of Joseph, to give it to them, Father, to give it to them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now just reach. I salute you, Holy Spirit. Go ahead, go ahead and give your seat. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead and plant your seed. Okay, we get your seat, Beatrice Namayanja. Beatrice Namayanja. And Milton. So, Avis, Paris, we pray for you. 
In the name of Jesus, thank you for your seed. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Kathy will receive me, will receive your seed. In Jesus' name, Father, we thank you. We give you praise, Lord. We glorify your name. Father, this money is found in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Spirit, we need you. VBTJ, your presence. Now, there are others who did not come. Why don't you take this opportunity and participate? I know there are people. You are coming. But there are those who say, I, 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 I have my 100,000, my 50,000 towards the publishing of the books. Why don't you bring it? I, I always, in, a, in an atmosphere like this, someone must activate his faith. Uh, so get the seed you have and, and come and, and bring it here in Jesus' name. Now, there are those who are, are going to be part of the 7,000 club. We are giving a million each and we believe that that will help us. Those of you with other seeds, just come and stand over here. But those of you going to become part of the 7,000, just come and stand over here. Let me pray for you. God will give it to you. You are going to believe God in Jesus' name. But you are out there, you have a seed, you haven't brought it. When people came, you did not come. And you're saying, I, I need, to, I need to, so, to sow my seed. Just come here. You got your 50,000, 100,000, 20,000, 10,000, 5,000. Just come over here. Now, those of you going to stand with us to be part of the 7,000. Come on, soon stand over here. In Jesus' name. God is going to give you that money. It's good. Let me have the envelopes, please. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. There are so many people who didn't bring their seed. But today, I'm going to believe God. He will give me a million to publish the book of the Holy Spirit. Stand over here. Those who have got your own seed, open the mount, stand over here, so that we pray for it. Then we relieve people of witchcraft. Then we see what the Lord is going to do today. Today is a great day. Day. Somebody whisper to the person next to say, Today is a great day. Oh, yeah, it is a great day. Today is a great day. He is, it is a great day. <laughs> oh, Lord. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, you are awesome. 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 In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Come here with me. Your presence is needed. Holy Spirit, will you stay? Now start laughing. 
Father, I pray for my sisters and brothers. I pray that you make them multi-billionaires. That they will be able to receive that money and they will bring it to publish the books. You are such an awesome God, such an incredible God. I bless you, my Father. Give them more money than they need. More money than they need. More money than they can handle. For your glory, in Jesus' name. Meet their needs, Father. In Jesus' name. You may be seated. You hold your seat. Say, Father. Today, I brought my seed. Look upon me and make me a multi-billionaire. I need money to help me, the kingdom of God, and my family. I believe in you and I trust in you. Now love, for he loves a cheerful giver. In Jesus' name, you can put your seed here. In Jesus' name. Your children need your presence Holy Spirit will you stay Holy Demons tormenting this woman for long. Powers of darkness. Demonic powers tormenting her. Cast you out in the name of Jesus. Cast you out in the name of Jesus. Fire. 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 Come out. Come out. Fire. Come out. Fire. Come out. Fire. Come out. Fire. Fire. Goba, goba, goba. Fire. Goba, goba, goba. Fire. 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 Kenda, kenda. Go. Goba, goba, goba. Fire. Get out in Jesus' name. Furuma Mourinho, yes. Goba, 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 goba. Fire. E dogo li onali bako la kumukazo. Fire. Ngagelo kufumbirwa. Fire. Di gobele isazem. Fire. Amanya gajira kumuami we. Fire. Da gobele vweru. Fire. Emi zimu jechika. Fire. Furuma genda. Go. Genda mwini nyale aisu mnazalis. Go in the name of Jesus. Break every pass of Satan in the name of Jesus. Break every pass of Satan. Break every pass of Satan. Go in the name of Jesus. Power of Satan, spirit of the dead. Go. Fire. 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 Amanya gayo no nevi to be aban. Spirit that messes people. Aban to aban fed them again. Fire. We miss you just satan if I come to work at all. Fire. Full of again. I'm running away. Fire. In the name of Jesus. Running away. The Son of the Living God. Go. Get out of my mind. Just satan to jump over the wall. Can it come? Kazono. Fire. Get out. Go. Jijo, jijo, yo cha, jijo. Fire. Jijo, jijo. Fire. Clap your hands to Jesus Christ. Oh, victory belongs to Jesus. Victory belongs to Him. Everybody oh, stand up. Oh, victory belongs to Jesus. Victory belongs to Him. Who can stand against the king? No one can. No powers of darkness will stand in our lives. Lift your hands and tell the Lord. Who can stand against the king? No one can. No
Yes, it does. When you can be called your grandmother, you got Satan, you got many of you. Powers of Satan losing. Oh, victory belongs. Yes, it does. Stay standing. There are people here. You've never given your life to Jesus. You don't know Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior. Stay standing. Put up your hand. Let's pray for you. You don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior. You said, I need Jesus now. I bless these people who have given their gifts that the Lord will increase you and add to you in Jesus' name. So if you're here, you've never given your life to Jesus. You want to be born again. You want to be saved. I want you to walk down here in Jesus' name. Come and give your life to Jesus. Come and get saved. Come and believe Jesus. Come and receive Jesus. Let's clap for them. Come and receive our Lord Jesus. Clap for them. They are coming to the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. People are coming to Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for drawing and bringing them. Thank you, Lord. Put your hands in your chest. Pray this prayer with me, Heavenly Father. In the name of Jesus, I give my life to you. I'm sorry for my sins. Today, I repent. I accept you as my Savior and my Lord. Forgive me. Release me from the powers of darkness set me free dear Lord Jesus I am your child and I believe in you today that your son of God who came and died for me on the cross today I give you my life dear Lord Jesus you are my savior. Wash me clean. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Welcome to the family of God. Welcome to the family of God. Now. Put your hands on your head. I break every powers of darkness of your life. Every spirit of religion and every spirit of bondage. Witchcraft and diseases to leave you alone. You are now born again. You devils leave these people alone. By the power that raised Jesus Christ from the dead. Loose them and never come back again. Thank you, my father. Thank you for setting them free. In Jesus mighty name. Amen and amen and amen. Amen and yo. Now I want to see how I can help you as you follow Christ Jesus. It's very important to us. And for you. So Pastor Chris is there. He's going to take you for five minutes. You'll find us worshiping God. But you can go and take those five minutes. In Jesus' name. And your life will never be the same again. Amen and amen. In Jesus' name. Gracias. 
Uanike miko. Demons are coming against you. Go in the name of Jesus. Demons of witchcraft. Demons of witchcraft. The spirits of the dead. Go. Come on, on the name of Jesus. Spirits of his ancestors. Spirits of his ancestors. Go. Fire, fire, fire. Come out. Demons come out. Demons of witchcraft on the city. Go in the name of Jesus. Lift up your hand. Say thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Lift up your hand. Wanike Mikonosiza Kusiga Langa Wendi. Oh, Moyo, O Mutukuvu, Gase. Sinza Kusiga Langa Wendi. Sangura Evian Sibo Weta Asangura Amaziga Are you who me have your name? Zenin Sumu Lift your hands and sing with your string. Omoyo, omtukuvu, gase, sinza, kusiga langa wendi. Lift your hands. Omoyo, omtukuvu, gase. To be tanga ko molo kozi na kukawola. Lift your hands and worship God. Na bochali na 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 marasi terebo kosi tarara. Join your hands together. Sing with your strength and tell the Lord, everybody. Yes, yes, yes,
the living God fall afresh on me Spirit of the living God fall afresh on me Lift your hands everybody Build me, mold me, feel me, and use me, oh, spirit of the living God, full of fresh. Spirit of the living God. Join your hands together and raise them up. All are fresh on me. The Holy Spirit is moving across this place. Spirit of the living God. All are fresh. Those hands up and start laughing. The spirit of the anointing of the Joseph is coming on you. The Lord is anointing you to do the incredible. The Lord is anointing you to do the incredible. The Lord is anointing you to do the incredible. Just laugh. Seka. Forget about the, the trouble you are in. Forget about the pit you are in. Forget about the situation you're in. The power of praise is picking you up. Out of that dry pit. That dry pit of poverty, sickness and disease. Let the power from on high come upon you. The power of Almighty God is here. Just love, just love, just love. Holy Spirit. Now call upon him. Say, come and fill me. Say, Holy Spirit, come and fill me. Say it 77 times. The power of God is touching you everywhere you are. Even through television. In your home, in your family. In your house, in your church. In your ministry, there is a fresh anointing of Joseph. There is a fresh anointing of Joseph. A fresh anointing. Like the one which was on Joseph.
Joseph. Like the one which was on Joseph. It's the spirit of the Lord. It's the spirit of victory. It's the spirit that smashes Egypt. It's the spirit that uses and captures and takes over and demonstrates that there is no other God but the God of Israel. There is a God, the God, but the God of our Father, the Lord Jesus Christ. There is no other God. Our God is the real God. Your God is the real God. The Father of our Lord Jesus Christ is the real God. Receive the Holy Spirit. Rejoice. Ask Him to fill you. 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 He's moving. He's all over this place. Fill me, presence of God. Fill me, Spirit of God. He's over there. He's over there. He's over there. Receive, receive, receive. Ask him to fill you. Ask him to fill you. Ask him to fill you. Open your mouth. And say, Holy Spirit, fill me. Holy Spirit, fill me. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Touch. 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 Bring that young man over here. Oh, you're to the Holy Ghost. Bring him here. Fill him, fill him, fill him. Fill him, Holy Ghost. Come on, yield to the Holy Spirit. He's all over the place. He's all over the place. Oh, come on, watch over there. See what the Lord is doing. See what the Holy Ghost is doing. People yield to the Holy Spirit. People yield to the Holy Spirit. People yield to the Holy Spirit. Laugh and ask Him to fill you. Don't be legalistic. Don't be religious. Lose your religion. Lose your titles. Be filled. The Holy Spirit. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha. Feel me. Fire. Fire. Of the Holy Ghost. Power. Man. Of the Pentecostal Spirit. Spirit of the living God. The anointing of Joseph is all over you. The anointing that fell on Joseph. Let the people, let the people, let her. You be filled with the Holy Ghost as well. Leave her. Let him feel you. 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 Touch. Let him feel you. Let him feel you. The Holy Ghost is here. Show your hands and lift them up. Lift them up. And laugh. And laugh. And laugh. And laugh. And laugh. And laugh. And then say, fill me, Holy Spirit. Seven times. On the seventh time, the power of God will hit you. We'll fill you. We'll visit you. We'll visit you. Fire. Power. Fill this place. Holy Spirit, fill this place. Fill this arena. Fill the stage. Feel the spooky. <laughs> Receive the spirit of the living God in your life, in your home, in your business, in everything you do. Receive the Holy Spirit. <laughs> 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 oh, Holy Ghost, Spirit of the Living God, 
Be filled with the Holy Spirit. People forget about yourself. Concentrate on Him. Concentrate on Him. Concentrate on the Holy Spirit. Concentrate on Jesus. Join your hands together. Fire! Somebody call fire 21 times. Bring that young man over there. Fire, 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 fire. Pick him up. Fire. Don't fire. drag him. Pick him up. Fire. 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 Fire, Murilo. 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 Show your hands and laugh and say, Holy Ghost, feel me. Feel me, feel me, feel me. <laughs> feel me, feel me, feel me. <laughs> Bring that man in the, in, in, in the, in, in the light blue, this one. In the last blue that, that that bring that guy. I say when I say bring him, you cut him. You don't strike people. Pick him up. Come on, put his clothes down. Fire! <laughs> Bring that woman over there. That one. No, this one, this one. That one. People don't be spectators. Cry out to God to fill you. The special spirit of the Lord. The anointing of Joseph. <laughs> ah. Tonight you're going to be anointed with oil. What? <laughs> The anointing of leadership, the anointing of business, the anointing of appointment. You are going higher. Join your hands together and jump seven times and say, Glory! May the Lord anoint you. May the Lord anoint you.